Yeah, they cap pretty fast. Okay. So I could go a lot of defense, or I could go a lot of strength. It's. It feels like the amount that they change isn't very much. I'm just going defense now. I. Yeah, I'm gonna go with defense because uh, I'm not the uh, yeah, the damage go. powerhouse. <laughs> the barbarian's like, poor little old me. <laughs> so what I miss, anything exciting other than just death, doom for all things that were walking in this dungeon? Uh, we learned something Lots interesting about how experience grind works. Oh. Much, much faster to grind with three people than four. What? So yeah. the game adds more enemies to um, groups uh, based on how many people are in the party. Okay. But it runs out of space to add more after three. For that fight. For some right. fights are different. Wow. So that fight has six enemies at three people. It's supposed to have more for four, but it doesn't have space for it. And okay. It still it splits the experience between us still. Interesting. Half experience for having one more person in the party. <laughs> so it's actually better if you have four people. It's better for them to have two and two go out grinding in the same place. Where are we going? Uh, are you guys ready to try the rune room again, or? What's the plan? I think so. Uh, I've leveled twice today. I'm, I'm ready for something new. And I'm like literally less than 3,000 experience from my next level. <laughs> so. Uh, hey, David's there. All right. And then in that case, uh, Rune Room, I believe we go through the Hall of Doors to get to. I hear keyboard. Yeah, I'm stop using my mouse for this. <laughs> now that I've went, run into the wall repeatedly. Um, that small was, room that's right next to us. All right, yeah, you got the right idea. It was this. And did I hear that now the barbarian also knows hail? Yeah, but it doesn't do it do very much damage. Because you did. Have His first cast was for eight damage. So you didn't level it, huh? <laughs> Well, it's up to five now, but now it's doing like twenty-two. Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, that's, that's still some decent damage. We just following this path. Experience. I guess. Uh, you'll follow it to. Let me take a quick look on the map. Yeah, follow it out. Follow the pretty much the the extent of the map we've made. <laughs> yeah. The mausoleum's where we'll end this quest, though. So, um, yep, you got the right idea. The whole way around. All the way around. I, uh, I have a lot of health. You do. Yeah, you're gonna... <laughs> that's not gonna stop, either. You're gonna pretty much catapult your health into the stratosphere by the end of this thing, so... I'm not even gonna pull the map up. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna hit the one that looks like Kara. Ornery <laughs> <laughs> human teeth? Is that what you think of me? You all look the same. <laughs> <laughs> Racist. I'm a halfling, not a human. <laughs> Listen, I'm a gremlin. I understand those feelings, man. <laughs> oh, death darts. I forgot we've got death darts now. So good. Roll of wind. I bet it's hail. So yeah, it's probably like a level six hail. So it's probably less than you would do, but it's good for me who doesn't know hail yet, as the other magic user on the party that doesn't know magic spells. <laughs> so it's better for me to keep my my mana potion. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's storm wind. Oh, that's what it's gonna be. Oh, is it storm wind? Yeah, that makes sense. In other words, it's going out of my inventory. Shocking spear. I am shocked by this drop. And probably lightning, like, level 8 or something. Maybe. What we got? 8, 5, you just 2, make that 6. Up? I just made it up. Wow. 
<laughs> Why am I even casting hail? <laughs> Just in case. I mean, once we reach the the room where we're going to, that will probably be worthwhile. But yeah, there's going to be some fights. But Death Dart's, Death Dart's No Lie is really, really overpowered in this area. <laughs> That's going to solve like 90% of all the problems in the world, if you haven't already realized that. I'm going to hit my doppelganger. What's the shocking spirit? 65 damage. I'm now throwing it away. <laughs> I think I have hail for like five or six levels before I get death darts. Okay. Alright, so... You can see where we got to last time. <laughs> yeah. We died a terrible, horrible death. Are we just going to try that again? Yeah, we can. Because um, we're going to have to go through the doors that l that are on that side. Do you remember how we described it last time? Yeah. Okay. It was like, depending on how we enter the center area, doors in a particular direction would open elsewhere. Correct. Like Correct. So yeah, because we've gone this way through it, now all the doors that are opening up to rooms that are facing... Oh, God, how do I want to describe this? Basically, the doors that you can go uh, go into are on the right side of us right now, so... Yeah. I did not kill all of them. That's fine. Well... Yeah, there are some fights. Make sure, I, ready, make sure you're ready. My MP is at maximum. I am at maximum. You guys are That's always at maximum. Death I, darts. As you. Nice. <laughs> Preparing a sly attack. Nice. Well, thanks for the energy field, Miller. <laughs> you guys are welcome. Let me just say, I think I still have a resuscitator too, so I think I'm okay. I live. Do we care about that? What is it? Netherworld medallion. I think that protects against poison, which makes it kind of useful, actually. Where do you equip it? Accessory slot. Oh yeah, next to your feet. Where all amulets go. <laughs> That's where I wear all my amulets on my feet. I should probably change my stream info. It does say that I'm still doing Quest for Glory here, so... Uh... Did the same thing. <laughs> All right, this doesn't. Okay, this this item list doesn't have any information for that or the best. So that's completely useless. I'm working off memory that I think it's poison, and I'm like eighty percent sure on that. So, and I usually don't get that sure on things. <laughs> Of course, things need to live long enough for you to have to suffer poison, so... This is not the encounter. This is a regular encounter. So, should I hit the cockatrice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another sucking wound. I gotta remember, those bugbears... They tend to have more hit points, those things. Yeah, but we're just making sure that the cockatrice is dead. These guys are squishy. They don't do a lot of damage, if I remember right. Oh, there, they're dead. Yep. Bronze Buckler and Burning Axe. Bronze. Oh, I can't use the Burning Axe, can I? Okay. <laughs> no. Yeah. Alright, 
so there was nothing else here. Okay, so that was not the right area. So if you head down, down, and then head that way, these doors are always open, regard the one that you're facing right there. Okay, that changes what what That's doors. A lot are of open. cockatrice. Okay. Yeah, we're ready for this area. <laughs> All right, if you can go through that door that's up here over to the um, up on top, like all the keys are in this top section here of the map. So if you head and then back up to and then turn, <laughs> head there. Yeah, go that way. All right. All right, and head, I think if you head right and down, I believe one of these doors that are on our right, that that's on the right, I think that's where the key is for this direction. All right. Nice. I believe this is the key. There it is. Yep. All right, let's right. Who knows? They are very easy. You went berserk. Yep. Moon I vowel key? <laughs> we are going to get three of these for different vowels. But we've got the one for this direction, so there's... I mean, other than exploration, there's really no point for us to continue in this direction. So what we would do is we'd head down from here. Yeah. They do that down halfway through. Exactly. And that way we can hit the up doors now. So. Actually, I don't think there is one for the up doors. Uh, okay, we're not here yet. Wouldn't this be the down doors, though? Yeah, the, this area is for after we collect all three keys. Okay. So I, you just want me to go back through? Yeah, I think... Yeah, if we go through... what I'm trying to remember which direction we would head here, so... I think this is correct. Yes, I believe that you're heading the right way, and you're going to head straight up into the next room. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Cool. That sure looks like a crippling wound. This room is so confusing to get through, and this was such a strange puzzle, but like once you know it, you understand it, but God, it's like a card game. You know, you know whenever you try to explain a card game to someone, you just end up sounding dumb? It's like... <laughs> Your theory was wrong on the doors. That's okay. No, actually, it's right. Um, it, it's <laughs> This is the right way we need to go. So head right into the room that's on... Like... Uh, trying to think of how I want to describe we'll this. We'll head right. We'll head right. Let's see what's going on. The, the top area has three main rooms. And we're right now in the one that has a bunch of up doors. There's no key in a door that's heading north. So we need to find doors that head south, and that's in the next larger area. So there, you see that door on the left, or on your right, sorry. No, no, no. Turn, turn. Turn, turn. This second. I, I'm trying to do this without a map half the time. But nice. It's not going <laughs> right there, yeah, perfect. If you're using the keyboard, having a map is still handy. If you head up. I mean, you had a 50-50. It was if you're like me, you always get those wrong. So <laughs> it's like me. Whenever I say right left, I've got a 50-50, so I always get it wrong. So okay, definitely should have kept. Yeah, the we, we do need to keep attacking the cockatrice. <laughs> yeah, they're more dangerous than the bugbears. All right, it's one of these doors that has the next key. All right. I forget which one. So. This is some gold. Okay, so. Just bugbears, so. Oh, no. Yeah, they're not very threatening, are they? How much gold is it? 900. So worth it. That's worth it. That's actually worth it. Start throwing things in my quest bag. 
All right, well, by process of elimination, it's the other door. Evil bird, stomp it. Nice. Evil bugbear. Gleaming sword lies on the floor between you and a group of giants. Ooh, nice. I'm still gonna energy field. Yeah, absolutely. Because I died last time, and I expect the same thing to happen. They like to they like to hit me. Ooh. Hit me We're fine now though. That, if anybody has fencing, that is actually a really good weapon. I remember thinking, wow, another piece of equipment I can't use. I would really like to use that. <laughs> I can't use it. All right. What spell does it have, you know? It doesn't have any. It doesn't look like it. What? It's it, got a purple glow, though. If you right-click on it and it says you this, it doesn't say anything, like about uh, magic's item properties are effective in combat. That it doesn't have anything. Okay. You able to use it, Gizmo? No, I don't know how to use anything, but. Alright, as it... night only then. <laughs> Again? Very typical. There's our second key, guys. Do I need to keep uh, Cleowin's lockpick or key to Cleowin's palace? Um, I, I almost want to say hold on to him because I don't remember. Okay. I know we're running out of space. That that is a okay. common thing that will continue to plague us through the whole rest of the game. <laughs> I'll start healing after after the battle. Nice. Another sword of radiance. Well, you think it's the same that's brilliant. One? Yeah, if you didn't take the last one, then you probably uh, it'll give you one every time until you take it. Okay. So we need to go left to right now, yeah? Uh, correct. And if you noticed, we got one key in the middle section, one key on the right section. So the last key will be in the left section. I'll be on a door facing towards the left, I'm guessing? Correct. Um, I did not have time to... I still have MP for a spell that I didn't get to pick up the there. <laughs> Okay, it's still here, so I guess that yeah. works out. My guess is that we will probably have enough time to get the three major items, the scepter, the crown, and the, um, the robe. And then we will probably run out of time to do the major, the, la the last section of this. But we'll be able to f clean that up pretty quickly by the beginning of next stream, so. So you run through the middle area heading to the right. Correct. And we'll go up into the upper right area, then walk around to the upper left area, and then go through a the door there. Head north, yeah, yeah, head to the, head, head into the larger room to the north of here. I wasn't expecting there'd just not be a door there. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Yeah, those guys are great for experience and they're very squishy, so. There doesn't seem to be a very close correspondence in this game between experience gained for battle versus how hard the battle actually was. You're right. It'll drive you nuts later, too. <laughs> there you go, you're heading the right way. It's one of those doors that are we haven't yeah, gone that's, through. That, that's a lot of uh, danger. Was a lot of danger. No, still. So oh no, it's danger! 200 damage to you. <laughs> Thank God he cast Blast. It probably did less damage than it would have if he would have attacked me. Ooh, Mana Restore. I'll take that. Dropping Mana Restore, so... <laughs> ah! Gotta take this time and heal myself. We got a halberd. That was the same one. I just didn't actually get that one. Oh, you're still on the uh, item drop screen. Yeah. This looks familiar. <laughs> a key dangles from a spider's mandible. Oh, perfect. This is, you picked the right one. Yeah. All right. All right. So what do we do with these? And Okay, now we've got these keys. So, what we need to do now is head back to the center room. First things first, center room. Okay. Uh, south will get us to some network of other rooms. Correct. And then we'll need to spell or complete a word, I guess? No, we just use the keys. <laughs> I don't know why they're vowels. I have no idea. Maybe there's some <laughs> lore reason. I just... Someone was a really big fan of um, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Like it's actually way less exciting. It's like Sesame Street. <laughs> hey, uh, you all I'll definitely take that. Thank you. I don't have no space. That's a lot of bugbears. I killed three of them. That was a lot of bugbears. <laughs> There's still one left though. Alright, It's nice room. that physical attacks have trample. What do we do from the center? Yeah, head out. straight down. And straight through that door. And then head left. Because the the rooms down here, I'm sorry, right? I did. I told you 50-50. I'm gonna get it wrong every time. Um, head down through this door. That sh we. Sh oh, it's sealed shut. Okay. So what we probably have to do is go back in through the middle room and go straight up to enter through that door. I see. There's a, a door on the left side. So I guess we go like up. Through the center room, through the left room, and then down along the left side. You sure would think like that. that. However, the left side actually takes us to a long hallway that I believe has a shield at the end of it, if I remember correctly. Or an armor, I can't remember. And the armor might be night only. I don't remember. <laughs> so, no, actually the left door that you're seeing there is a complete, just, you don't need it at all. You do get something for doing it, but... And one of our keys will open this door. There we go. Oh, no, I'm sorry. The keys don't open this door. They open up the doors in the next section, because we're about no, to go into three. We, we just unlock that by going through that backwards. I just chugged that entire elixir of health. <laughs> he just went through it. <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> One of them's a restore. Oh, so it is. Well, if 
you ever need to restore your MP, we can do that fight again. There you go. Secret room. I'm worried about, uh, like, traps. <laughs> no, just just encounters. There's there's nothing really in here that we're gonna struggle with. Secret right. rooms are always deadlier than not secret. Rooms. Now, okay, if we want to explore this area out, you definitely want to head north first, because if you head west, we'll get the quest item and it takes our key with it. Ah, uh, it says that the door is locked and you need a special key. Pick a letter. I'm not sure which one it is. <laughs> oh, I actually have to use the item. But not king goblins, thank god. Nope. Oh. Ow! I'll heal you after the fight. Alright. I missed, of course I would miss. Why wouldn't I miss? <laughs> there we go. Sucking wound. Sovereign scroll. Step on it, step on it, step on it. The room is crawling with Spinorpions. Where are we gonna fight next? Oh no! Know. Poisoned! Twice! It's a Spinorpian being poisoned. It's poisonous! I have the. that amulet on. Oh so yeah. It helps me or not? Probably. 85, okay. I'll. Do you have a cure, or do you need me to cure you? I threw away my cure. <laughs> Are you. Did I get rid of it for you? Oh, I'm cured. No. I claimed I was cured, but was wrong. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's see. This interface, right, that worked. That worked. Did Evil Lands fix that particular problem? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't. Eventually, you just get stuff that kind of prevents you from, like, getting those things, and you never take them off. I mean, you can. I keep failing to cure myself because I'm also poisoned. <laughs> I need to be out of bed. <laughs> okay, it worked there. That must have worked that time. Sounds good. Listen, jam out to this song. All right. So I missed the grind fest, huh? We did a lot of small talk. It was pretty awkward. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miller, I gotta ask you. Good. Do you know the game Goblins? I'm sorry, what game? Oh, oh, with like the, oh, yeah, with like the goblet. The, uh, I never played it. Familiar with the name, and that's about it. <laughs> For what that's worth. <laughs> Simple Sierra puzzle game. Actually, I don't think it was Sierra. Maybe they just published it or something. Really? Huh. I don't remember. I don't remember. Yeah, Sierra. I... I Because I remember it was on one of their big collection boxes. Current Medieval Lands friend, Burren, good to have you. We're going through on the in barn, but you can always you can find me on Medieval Lands. I'm Mr. PR Miller, so I'm always I'm always looking on Medieval Lands. I'm still having fun on that. Your character is way too high level on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you might have seen that. I, I it, it, it gets a little silly. I, <laughs> I, I think I'm at 76 now or something. I really haven't leveled them too much, but I'm at almost at level 40 in Twinion. So, 
But yeah, Burn, we played Euserbius every Tuesday night, so. Ah, a person. A half mad gnome. Alright, so which one of us sounds like a half mad gnome that should read this? <laughs> The wizard Arnakian hired his own troops from the Snow Elves. It said that these strange elves disappeared before the volcano erupted. But they wound up where they wound up is anybody's guess. That's what that's what mad half mad sounds like. Yeah, well, the way that you worded that made it so nobody could say anything. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Which one of you sounds like a half mad no? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure I can do that. Well, man. well, I mean, that was my plan, if you think about it. I figure if I could put this out, it's it's either, you know what, we're all so defensive, do, do we answer or not? <laughs> Reginald, hand, hand gift. Oh, you helped Zane with the new loot system? All right, that's cool. I love the new loot system, by the way, Burn. Thank you. That was, I, I, I'm a very big proponent of medieval lands, and I'm looking to speed run it but i need to find uh people that have 12 hours worth of free time by the way i don't it's a big commitment. it is it is it's a pretty big commitment i think we could break it up into two or three sessions though i mean reason nobody's i mean we're the first speed runners we can make the rules i mean <laughs> crystal scroll you know the rules and so do i that tail also or what uh, i don't think so i forget what crystal scroll what is crystal scroll you need to kill yourself. I think it causes hairballs to turn into alien teapots. <laughs> that is really specific. <laughs> did somebody say they need a heal, by the way? You do. You need to heal yourself, Miller. <laughs> oh, I did. I, I healed up. I healed up. You tell, I'm, I'm so concerned for my own. You really do not have much HP. <laughs> well, I, in my defense, I should be leveled now. <laughs> And I, I think I am getting like something like probably close to a hundred or two hundred hit points per level now. It should it should be it should begin to ramp up and then it'll cap off at around um it'll cap off at around four hundred. Per level. Man, you daringly went into one of those corners where those fights usually are. Gutsy. Yeah, why not? Gutsy. Wand of Radiance and Scroll of the Side. Does both sound brilliant. <laughs> well played. <laughs> ka 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 ka. That was just such a long pause before anybody said anything. <laughs> that took a lot of damage this battle. David knows I will not comment on puns. All right, this is the room that has the item, so we'll know when we find it, just like anything else. Uh, you realize we only use the uh, E key. We only use the E key. We didn't use any other room key. Well, the E key was the supposed to cause an earthquake that did thirty damage to all. Of no. It. No. no and I got that reference. I'm helping. <laughs> nice. I'm dead. Hold on. I'm alive. Holy Albert. Albert? I can carry the Holy Halberd. It doesn't have a magic spell on it. No. It's a staff, though, so it should give yeah. you... I still don't understand why it's a staff. <laughs> 
Oh, it's on a stick. All things that are on a stick are a staff. I mean, axes are things on a stick. Long sticks. Stabs? Long sticks. You good, Miller? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to die in the next encounter. Yes. Yes, this is the one that we are doomed. I missed. We're doomed. <laughs> I feel the doom. Sort of destruction. My kind of weapon. I mean, not that I can use it or anything, but... Let's take a look at that. Of destruction. Nope, can't use it. Never mind. Throwing it away. <laughs> There we go. Oh, the E Val key fades away when you enter the room here, and that must be. Yep, this is where we get the thing. I am going to there. energy field. In which case, if you don't, you have to go get the key again. Correct. And there's actually a quest late in the game that will require that. Late, late. But by that point, I mean we'll run through, like we could solo this whole area. And you definitely want that robe. Uh, it's not worth anything, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I can wear it. I don't. I don't think it gives any stack gain. So. I believe Cleowin's crown does, but I don't think it's very good. All right. So how do we get to the other area? Okay, we exit this the same way we came in. So um, you can either walk out or teleport out, and then go back to the rune room and work on the next section. <laughs> a lot of walking. This is a big fetch quest. Very annoying. I mean, you said it gives us a ton of experience. So. You 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 should gain a, a level after this, no matter where you're at. I'm probably gonna start running from these battles. Just to make much experience. Are they giving like seven? Oh, my not too bad. Yeah, it's not terrible. I just mean to make it a little bit faster. Especially if it's a small group. Maybe for the big ones we can stop them fighting. Okay, I'm cured. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were poisoned. I didn't realize it either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree, Burn. I've noticed that also. I will say I like Medieval Land's feature. He says the game's a lot easier with a party like you're all doing. Uh, even if it does start throwing additional enemies at you. Um, I completely agree with that, even just for the back row mechanics. Uh, I love Medieval Land's features that encourages parties by giving an experience multiplier. I think that's fantastic. Okay, this one looks like it's this horse battle. Both on the way in and on the way out of the room, I guess. <laughs> yes. Bad bird. All right, now the next two doors are on the left and right sides of this room right here where we're kind of just spiraling out. So we need to go through the center room and unlock either the left or the right by going through this, that center rune room kind of contraption. Yep, you're doing the right thing. Following typical video game logic, I'm going to say we should check the right side since we moved left in order to unlock the. Yeah. Stuff. Good. Good, good. In one of these rooms, we will face something that's a little bigger than we're used to, but if we're handling this, we'll handle we'll handle that probably without a problem. Uh, it might be this upcoming one. Uh, we fight wyverns. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Wyverns? Wyverns, wyverns. I... Why, wyverns. Wyverns. <laughs> Technically, they're not true dragons. In theory, they're nearly as deadly. But they don't poison you like other Sierra games would have you think.
but I believe most of them are required encounters, meaning we can't run through them, we have to go right through them. I'm running low-ish on mana restore. I can pass some to you. Yet, but... So, we found that when you pass an item, it always uh, goes to just one youth left. Okay, so I wasn't crazy that I just kept burning through those things. Nice. I feel a little vindicated, actually. <laughs> Burn, let me ask you, have you beaten Medieval Lands yet? Medieval Lands of Serbius. Ah, spider. Squish. You know, I attacked the one with four, thinking that that would be the one, but I was wrong. You are healed. A dying troll knight lies on the floor. Who's got a dying troll voice? King, <gasps> its crown is the final treasure needed to placate the dead king's spirit. Return the king's possessions quickly, or suffer his eternal wrath. Okay, now pretend he's a human and do the same dying voice. <laughs> There's your wyvern. There they are. Okay. Uh, nice. Him, hey, Brady. Now, he, he okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step on one. Arnaki and Burn, I didn't find to be as difficult as uh, Enlakil. Or I should say, the, the build up to Endla Kill ended up being quite... I mean, like, he wasn't difficult. That fight wasn't. But all the fights leading up to him were pretty difficult to solo. Let me know if you need healing. I could use a heal. I gotcha. I will go as quickly as I can here. There we go. Okay, I am healed. Toro, fight hard. These guys have a lot of trouble. Yeah, I'm energy fielding just to make sure. No, death darts just destroys everything. Never mind. <laughs> it's so much Last time useful. we saw these guys, we did not have death darts. No, it was double hail all the time. I found pretty much Burren. I found every dragon fight, like almost impossible to solo until I started learning to he get some extra additional healing power in Medieval Lands, which was nice. Right, a gremlin oh. cleric sits on the floor holding a thick book in his hands. The wizard Arnakian desired immortality above all else. It is whispered that he trapped one of the elementals and bade it obey his will and make it live forever. I believe Arnakian got his wish, but the elemental buried the wizard's castle under lava and revenge. So that's why there's a volcano. Yep. You're learning quite a bit about the lore in this one, so. Ow. Nice. <laughs> Clutch. Let's, uh, let's, let's make sure Crow's doing all right. No, he just I'm going to use a heal all potion. I think this is about as much it use says Miller as I'm going to get out of it. Oh, yeah, I was ready for that. I saw one HP. I'm like, yeah, I think I, have to, I, think I can afford a heal on him. <laughs> Miller already got it covered, guys. <laughs> More wyverns. No! Okay, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> That's why you have all those HP. If I see it hit multiple, I'll tend to also heal, or I'll tend to cast Refresh, which heals everybody. Okay. Maybe we should teleport out of this room. <laughs> I would level, I know that. Energy field. Do you guys want to fight three groups of wyverns again? How much XP were they giving? Um, probably not enough. 
500. Yeah, definitely not worth it. <laughs> this game, though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely. I feel like that was that makes, worth it. That makes me sad. Oh, but I have Buckler of the Elements. I, th sad. if I remember, also, somehow I'm, I'm poisoned. Oh, it's not usable by my guild anyway. Typical. Yeah, uh, cure. Let's see. Let me know if it works on you. The Shield of yes. Sorrow seems to have less defense than, for me than the Buckler of the Elements. I have some sort of icon on me. What is it? Uh, it's yeah. like a red uh, potion thing. Okay, it's gone. Now. Okay, I cured you. Yeah, the, the buckler element says better stuff than the shield of sorrow. Nice. But apparently, the shield of sorrow does have an item skill property. Ooh. Oh. That's not many times. Yep, you used it at the same time, I guess. <laughs> we just let Miller die. <laughs> oh, um, that's a Miller? that's a problem. We're gonna need to teleport out. No, we've all got to teleport now. No, here's the problem. We all need to have this is a real problem. We all there need to have the item. items and that if we don't we can't progress together and since I don't have a resuscitator. That, no, it's not a problem. Because when we teleport out we can, if, if you're dead right now, we can teleport out right now and then come back. Did anybody learn Resuscitate yet? No. I, nope. Oh, I don't know what you're worried about because we have tested this. Okay, okay, okay. So as long as I go back in through the bottom. Yeah. I got level 18. Hey, uh, 15. We still need another 160-ish thousand experience before I get past level 16. I did learn fireball. Fireball! That's a really, that's, that's really nice for, oh, hail! It happened. It happened. Yay! I'm gonna pump some points into cure. I'm tired of it having to cast it two or three times. Mmm, um. the Clarewind's robe is worth 12,000 gold. <laughs> yeah, hail is amazing early on. Okay, we'll get rid of that. The shield you probably get a replacement if you sold Clayman's robe, right? You um, go you'd have to go game. back and get the key, and then go get the robe. But yes. So what would that imply? That someone bought the robe from the store <laughs> and then returned it back to the place where you originally got it. I find it more impressive that all four of us have the robe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so if I go to the bottom door I should be back in. Yeah. It worked. What we found wasn't just like one lo robe lying around. Maybe it was just like a closet. We just open it up and we each grab one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we found his wardrobe. The question is, why did we find four crowns? <laughs> right, oh, this is a scepter. No, there's no more key for this. Did I not heal myself? You've still got 700 hit points. <laughs> yeah, that's like half. <laughs> no, I didn't buy it. <laughs> You didn't buy a like a fool, I didn't. We're gonna have to teleport out and do this fight again, regardless. You failed death darts. It's because backfire. Oh, this is not good. Well, I'm still alive on eight hit points. So. Uh, I do have the MP for another death darts. Chug a potion. Um, Oh, I've got that. a Sovereign Scroll? How's that sound? Go for it. Just anything. Nice. I don't know. Okay, now I don't feel so lonely. Okay, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm moving to that open spot just to the right of you, Bo.
Okay. Uh, teleport. <laughs> Don't move. Just teleport. Because <laughs> otherwise, you're going to be uh, in a fight. Pick up the item first. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but we... Will it still give it to us, even if we don't have the key? As long as we're in this room? I believe as long as we're still in this room, we're okay. I mean... Oh, I can cast it. Yeah, I'm going to buy a Resuscitator. Call me crazy. <laughs> Cannot believe I did not do that. I'm gonna buy two resuscitators like a renegade. Okay. Party. Alright, who no, needs no, a heal? I need some heals. I I do not need heals anymore. Good. <laughs> I heal for a thousand, so you should have a pretty good. Let me in. Okay. Let me try again. There you go. There we go. Okay, so we're going to back up, fight something, and then move forward and fight something. Oh, yeah, make sure your MP's uh, filled up. I will double check. I think I do. Yep. I'm ready to go. Nice. Okay. There we go again. I'm just gonna use a solid. Hey, I have a healthier person I can hide behind now. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh no, it's gonna hell now. Oh, I'm I'm joining in on this. I've sat in the cried in I the use, side. I used a sovereign scroll, so. Yeah, we're pretty safe it now. Was not nearly as dangerous this time. Yeah, it looks like they uh, it worked like pretty much on everything. Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> So, could, uh, backfire spell get backfired up? by someone else's backfire? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> scepter, get! Okay. Alright, everyone got the scepter. We all got the scepter. Alright, should we, should we teleport out again, or...? Uh, that's, yeah, that's up for discussion. I, I could go either way, I, because... Um, it's a short trek. And I've, I've got enough potions, just we might wind up dying and having to teleport out anyway. I do have hail now, so we will do more damage. I think we just go for it. Got stuck on the interface. <laughs> wow, something actually survived everything that we threw at it. But not your sucking wound. Five hundred experience. <laughs> I didn't even check what I need for my next level. I will say the nice thing is that the next area. Oh, that was wonderful. The next area does not have uh, wyverns, wyverns, whatever you're gonna call. Them. They don't have dragons. Flying snake monsters. Just let me know if you need a heal. so powerful <laughs> I mean like not like crow levels of powerful but and not David levels of powerful and not run away from everything levels of powerful but I feel <laughs> it's like my own little mini corner of powerful <laughs> you finally contributed to the group <laughs> I'm helping <laughs> beyond the occasional resuscitation I saw that. <laughs> okay, well, the dragons should be eating you medium rare and yes. not be putting ketchup on you. 
I completely agree with that statement. Although I don't necessarily am going... I, I'm not going to claim to have any knowledge of human grilling. So... I love that the spiders give more experience than, the, than like, hordes of dragons. <laughs> Life is unfair. <laughs> it's part of the wizard's curse. We do talk a lot about grilling, Burn. <laughs> Let's see here. Burn, if you're interested in Quest for Glory at all and you want to see speedruns of that, there's a link on my Discord page, or on the Twitch page down at the bottom uh, in like the About section that'll give you a link to our Discord server. We also talk you Serbius in there. We have a channel for that now. You thumb your nose, rub your belly, and so on. Yeah, exactly. Click the link, join, say hello. We got gotcha. you. Just occurred to me that whenever we're moving as a party, the party leader, if they're walking sideways or backwards, has to be forcibly <laughs> Causing the entire party to do the same thing. <laughs> Everybody crab walk. <laughs> I am the leader. You will walk the way I tell you. Oh, I'm just trying to speed this up a little bit. It's left to right now, yeah? I don't remember. Alright, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think, yeah, left to right, most likely. Unless it turns out we actually need a upward facing door? No, nah, there's not. I remember. Like, there's like three rooms in the top area up there that would have the upward facing door, and they're all kind of useless. Like, I, I don't remember anything being up there. Is it the case that the. The key you get from the rightward facing doors is also the key you need for the rightward facing door in the lower area. Oh, that's possible. I did not think of that. Probably. I have a feeling this one's mandatory. I just went out of the building. Yeah, broadsword. Hooray. What compared to my word hand? I can't believe your success level with fleeing it is so... <laughs> I still... It just must be that thieves are better at it. The problem is that I picked a thief for Twinion and it doesn't work that way. <laughs> and then it's just only for Deservia. <laughs> this is actually a pretty neat one if I remember, because there's like four rooms that each have treasure in it. So I think one of them was actually worth it too. Oh, I forgot to cast Hail. I can't believe that. <laughs> you gotta get well, used to it. I remember just waiting for the death dart. The enemies are only doing 16 damage, so I'm not too worried about it. 300 experience. Another, Another buckler of the elements. elements. Yeah. If anyone didn't pick that up earlier. For some reason. Yeah. Ah! A human wizard teleports into the room you are. Oh, that's Crow! Crow's a human wizard. <laughs> Be careful when you find the way to open the door that leads to the nether depths of this dungeon. All quest items from Clarewind's palace levels will be stripped from you. But if you are indeed ready to enter the lower depths, you will no longer need Clarewind's toys. Be careful of the things that take Clara Wynn's toys, for they will take Clara Wynn's toys from you, and you will not have Clara Wynn's toys. I'm just making sure that you know. Good job, Arvindel. Are, are we going to get Clara Wynn's yo-yo? <laughs> <laughs> Those snow elves were had a thing for his yo-yo. 
back and forth. Special keys. Four doors. <laughs> Let's go in the far left one. Oh. The zero rune key opened the door. Oh. This is a gold. I think the one next to us is the door to progress. What? You want me to not get that one? I, I forget what's in these. <laughs> I haven't been so impressed with the drops lately. We can go check though. Uh, Ooh! Oh, we got some large ones here. We had some large ones here. Wand of bolts. That sounds really effective. Maybe. Oh, Burn, we also do talk about a lot about a grilling on that Discord channel, too. Almost to the point where I wonder if I should just make its own channel for grilling conversation. <laughs> okay, I did post pictures of the. Yeah. All right. The Galabrian kings brought the great wizard Anaki and Slowfoot to Twinion. The island grew famous and rich thanks to this wizard, but the wizard had his own schemes. And soon he and good king Leowen but Galabrian were at loggerheads. Supposedly the wizard had to <laughs> <loggerheads>. get <laughs> I'm changing my epithet to loggerhead. <laughs> From scrubboard <laughs> to loggerhead. I am absolutely doing that loggerhead. I'm writing that down. Oh, it's good. Sounds like an insult you would sling at a lumberjack. <laughs> you loggerhead! Or a drunkard. L A G R. Teleport pass and lizard skin jacket. <laughs> lizard skin How's jacket. That to the uh, breastplate. I have a leather jacket. For me, not even worth it to look. The diamond breastplate I remember was just being being very good for a long time. There is no difference in, in the leather jacket and the lizard skin jacket. <laughs> they are literally the exact same thing. I'm trying to figure this out. <laughs> oh my I'm gosh. Going to assume that the leather, lizard skin jacket is better? In some way that the game doesn't tell me? That's one, I, I, I still say, it, that is one really nice feature of Medieval Lands is that it actually tells you what things do. <laughs> You don't need to equip them, you could just look. That'd be nice. Yeah. Ninja like stick. Dicks? And staff and a half. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> I, oh, I I've... see we found Cleowin's toys. <laughs> I gotta look at these ninja sticks. Nine, okay. nine okay. five two six sixty. Seven five two six, eighty six. Okay. Less strength, a lot more dexterity. And it seems like I get more strength from the ninja sticks, but less dexterity overall. So I'm more likely to hit things, less likely to do or with less damage. It doesn't matter. I'm casting hail from now on. So. <laughs> <laughs> seems like a. <laughs> Nice. Cap of Wisdom and Basilisk. That's gonna be worth it, because I'm pretty sure that prevents paralysis or petrification. Cap of Wisdom, I think, was good. I'll take a look at the Cap of Wisdom. Yeah, I. I... Cap of Wisdom's not useful by me. Um, oh, the barbarians complaining about wisdom. That's good. I can't hear people. Uh, seven, five, two, six. Let me 
me check these real quick. Seven. Two, six, yeah, the Cap of Wisdom was better than the War Hat for me. I decided to drop a dynamic green for the Basilisk Gamer. Ready? Yep. Yes. Oh, that doesn't look hard. No, these are super easy. Yep. And then we will get the crown. <laughs> 26. Good experience, though. Yeah, we could do that battle repeatedly instead of the wyverns. <laughs> Just collect a mountain of crowns. Well, we definitely... I, I don't think we have enough time to go through the rest of Cleowin's quest tonight because once we start it we have to we have to finish it. Yeah, right. Which I would say I'm glad I bought two resuscitators just in case. <laughs> Alright. Uh I mean do we want to call it there or what? Most of us have been going to the hours. Yeah. Um yeah, I'm okay with being done for now. I'm just going to change my epithet before we leave. I mean, that's my plan. <laughs> <laughs> Loggerhead. It's on my. It's on my list. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, I still need a hundred and hundred and ninety loggerhead. Perfect. Okay. Barely even made a dent in my experience needed. Yeah. And the worst part is, is that we need to, well, okay, we, like, quote-unquote, need to hit level 20 before we can really progress into the next area, but there is a way that we can jumpstart the process, and I believe get to the Thieves' Key early, and I don't know how that works. Um, uh, looking through the, uh, the selling menu... Cleowin's crown is worth 9,000 to sell. Here we go. The robe is 12,000. I mean, think about it. Like, reselling point. How many people are going to buy crowns versus how many people are going to buy robes? Um, <laughs> and how many on the shelves, I think. Their it's a supply and demand issue, really. Oh. <laughs> right. I, my epithet is a bad joke. I'm not changing. Oh yeah, I'm definitely loggerhead now. I had just enough letters too. Pros out of these. Yep. Uh, to let you guys know, I will also be late next week. I have another meeting on Tuesday night, but all right. th they all go quarterly. My my meetings on Tuesdays go qu um, go quarterly, so uh, I won't have a Tuesday night meeting for a couple weeks for quite a number of weeks after that. Make sure you yeah. save your character. Oh, thank God. I did. <laughs> I've been saying that like four times. You weren't listening. <laughs> no, I, I really wasn't. I was thinking in my head, God, it's going to take forever to get to level 20. Uh, <laughs> so I was thinking. I, I, I'm thinking maybe some of us should come by just when we have time and level up on our own. I need to catch up. Yeah. I have, I have hail now. I can do that. I hope. Maybe. <laughs> I believe I am on call next week, which uh, usually doesn't mean anything, but small chance of uh, if there's a problem at work, I get paged. Nice. All right. Well, <laughs> it was fun playing with you guys. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I stepped on things. <laughs> I stepped on things. I'm gonna keep my stream going. I'm gonna do some Quest for Glory one uh, speed runs real here. <laughs> Just figure. Oh. I mean, I've got to eleven. I might as well. So I'm gonna watch that. Sounds good. <laughs> See you guys. All right, guys. Good, 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 good mini session for me. I had a good one. Take it easy. Okay. All right. I'm gonna shut down the in barn. Switch over.